20 reasons to do nofap in 2020. Let's go. Number one, learn how to love yourself. Look, I know playing video games, smoking, flipping, eating junk food, it feels good, at least in the moment, but that's not self-care. That's the illusion of care via pleasure, which at best keeps you stagnant, but usually throws you under the bus. If you were a dad and your son came up to you and he feels horrible because he failed an exam, would you say A? Bouch. B. Tell him to go play RuneScape. C. Give him a Mars bar. Or D. Slap him in the face. If you answered E, you are correct. You would tell your son that you love him. That he did fail, but it's just a learning experience. And you would try to help him find out the solution and work through it. And then you'd be like, bah! The reality is you are your own child and dad at the same time, and most of us are shoving Mars bars and games down our throats instead of consulting the inner father and actually dealing with our problems. And damn, honestly, you know what? I think that's pretty much the best point I've ever made. Um, at this point, I wouldn't even recommend watching the rest of the video. Uh, th that's good enough, you know, happy new years, enjoy your Hanukkah, enjoy whatever Halloween, I'll see you next year, peace out. No, no, I'm just kidding. Number two, fuel your purpose. A man is nothing without his purpose. Purpose is what wakes you up in the morning, it's what pushes you through the hard times, it's what attracts others to you and all of us have a different purpose in this world. For me, it's helping others. It's becoming independent. It's looking at all my pain in my life and giving it meaning. And that's what drives me forward. It's to be a better man, to be a father that I never had. In other words, a man is his purpose. And when you're fapping all day to Cornhub, you're telling your brain, what we're doing right now is really important and you do that long enough, soon that will become your purpose because you're putting so much time into it and it feels so good, your brain, it's not that complicated. It's just gonna be like, this is important. We gotta keep doing it. We've been doing it for so long. We gotta keep doing it. Do you want that to be your purpose? Is this someone you wanna become? No, I didn't think so. So it's time to get a grip and fuel that energy into something bigger and greater. Number three, find someone special so you can be that cringy couple kissing under a mistletoe or uh, you know the couple who's going grocery shopping together and then uh, later on the night you know you're having dinner and you're arguing because now your girl wants to change her gender no but quitting pmo and embarking on this journey allows you to build character you learn to appreciate people for who they are and that's where the deeper connections are built but real quick, before we jump into the next point, I want to remind you that my free training is temporarily open again. And this is simply how it works. I've got three videos that are available for you completely free and they're packaged with info to help you quit porn for good. And then at the end of the training, you'll have a chance to pick up my premium content if that's something that interests you. There's a link down in the description to sign up before I take it down. Anyhow, let's get back to the video. Number four, learn how to love others. Have you ever heard or been into a love shop <laughs> and what do you think you'll find in there a bunch of couples having engaging conversations of life father and son dates magazines and dvds teaching you important values to be faithful and prosperous with your partner no it's like a circus adult videos everywhere weird toys strange tools from indiana jones it's not a love shop and so we have this wiring that intimacy is love that physicality is love but that's just a fraction of it it's an expression of love by doing no fab you begin to realize whoa there's a lot of dumb and smart women out there and maybe the girl you thought you loved is just some instagram crazed bimbo wearing 20 pounds of makeup and 30 inch long fingernails that just wants some d NoFap reminds you that women have personalities, and while they can be physically beautiful, her abilities to be virtuous and spiritual is what you actually want. Number five, 
develop real world status. This is a simple one, okay? What sounds better to you? A cold basement with digital girlfriends, blow up dolls, video games, and Mountain Dew, or being Dan Bilzerian? And I know, look, Dan is someone that I don't completely agree with in terms of his values and the things that he does and what he posts on Instagram, I know. But my point here is Dan is an epitome of status. He's an epitome of it. He has real world achievements and you can see what kind of a life you could have if you built up your status as well. If you were to accure money, build up your wealth. There's so much opportunity there, what you could do with it. When you go and you work out and you're at the gym, you can go socialize, network, date people, embark on creative endeavors, travel the world, take some risks. That's what will bring you a fulfilling and fun life that has variety and has achievement in it. Do you want that? Or do you want to stare at all of it through a screen? Number six, prevent PIED. Look, I spoke to a student recently and a couple months back, he went on a trip to Norway to visit this girl, okay? And this girl was gorgeous. He met her in high school, a couple years have passed now. I think they're in their 20s. And uh, she's a very hygienic, she's in shape, she takes really good care of her body. She's a Norwegian girl, beautiful, right? The first night uh, on his trip, he was there for a week. The first night uh, he went out with her friends all together. Um, and they had a really fun night. They got really drunk. When they came back, they made love. It was amazing. The next day, they went to this beautiful rustic cabin in the woods. And uh, it was snowing. There's a fireplace. There's wine. All the food you could eat. It is the ultimate romantic paradise. And, you know, that in and of itself should get the juices flowing. Am I right? You know, and after hanging out, whining and dining, they begun to, to become intimate. But suddenly, my student just went completely soft and he could no longer get it up. Really bizarre, because it should be the opposite, but he just couldn't get it up, they couldn't make love. And for the next week, they were not able to be intimate. It was several weeks after when he came back to the States, he found out about the channel and he realized, holy crap, I've, I realize I have this addiction, I have PIED. And trust me, you do not want to experience that. Number seven, prevent romanticizing toxic relationships. Look, real intimacy is a world of satisfaction and excitement that doesn't disappear when the screen goes off. It's the breathtaking risk of being vulnerable with another human being that makes intimacy so amazing. Number eight, real world connections. This is a simple one too. Okay, look, I'm gonna break it down for you. I'm gonna break it down real quick. Less screen time equals more free time and more free time equals more people time. Do you, do you, do you see, do you see them, this crazy Albert Einstein equation I've created? I know it's, it's quite profound. Number nine, appreciate your body. Ever since I was first exposed to like adult content and stuff, I always felt like my manhood was never good enough. You know, oh, it's too small. I can't last long enough. I'll never be able to pleasure a woman. Like I'm not good enough, but the reality is it's all fake from the drugs they use to the makeup, to the edits, the sets, the lighting. None of it is real and representative of reality. When you stop watching it, you'll be able to go into the mirror and be like, you know what? I like my Johnson because it helps me pee pee and that's good for my health. Number 10, increase your creativity. You'll actually be able to focus on projects and tasks without weird fantasies intrusively bombarding your thoughts or these urges that like debilitate you you'll actually be able to like focus for several hours and read your books and do your projects like it's wonderful number 11 be a better partner i love this one and, and by doing this like reversed analogy it really really puts things into perspective you wouldn't want your loved one let's say the girl you treasure, not some casual relationship, okay? Let's forget about that. The girl you treasure, the girl that you want to be, the mother of your kids, the woman that you love. You wouldn't want her to be watching others be intimate. You would want her to come to you for that. <laughs> so it's the same thing for her. And you'll be a much better partner if you just close the screen, call your girl, and then pull down your jeans.
Number 12, gain control over your lower nature. I did a video on Kanye West. This is a really dope video. Link is on the top right if you want to check that out. But Kanye, in several interviews that he did recently, basically said he was exposed to Playboy when he was really young, around like five years old. And he said himself, it affected every life decision he's ever made. We see it littered in his music, but we also see it with his partner. Okay, his wife, Kim. Do you think he would have married Kim if he never really had a porn problem? Think about that. Think about the woman of your dreams. You you choosing that, you choosing your family from this, from this problem. That kind of messes with you. Do you want to be a slave to your baguette? It's not just about that. It can be simple things where the time that you waste or driving hundreds of kilometers for a fleeting hookup when you could have just gone out with your bros or worked on music instead, man. Number 13, increase your overall energy. The less time you waste on this habit, the more time and sexual energy you save in which will invigorate you and help you become Super Saiyan. Number 14, become Superman in the bedroom. In my personal experience, this has been true. And how do I know that? Well, my ex, normally after we'd make love, she would have like shaky legs and she'd be like, I literally can't get up because it was that intense <laughs> number 15 protect your passions with every relapse you risk everything else in your life if you keep wiring your brain to get off to pmo it will keep reminding itself how important it is which will leave you with a weaker drive to do what you really love number 16 stop mating with your screen Oxytocin is released when you watch adult content, which is the bonding chemical, meaning you become more attached and bonded to the experience of PMO, to the pixels, to the loneliness, to the isolation. Nah, we don't want none of that. Number 17. Live without shame. Isn't it a great feeling looking someone in the eye and shaking their hand, knowing that you didn't just watch the world's most disturbing and disgusting content? It's a pretty good feeling. You're not going to feel gross about yourself. You're going to be like, yo, what up? You're in the moment. You don't feel that like weight on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, ugh, it's just gone. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's the life you deserve. Number 18, stop lying and making weird excuses. Look, when you're out of this habit, you don't have to live like this weird lifestyle. Lies are poison for the soul. It has the power to obliterate, obliterate trust. And when I was deeply addicted, I was lying to my family, to my friends, to my boss. I'd tell people, oh, I can't hang out, I'm busy. I'd tell my boss, I have too much schoolwork, I can't make it today. I'd tell my family, oh, I gotta stay back this week because there's a project at school. All to just go sit in a room by myself and stare at a screen. Really, at the end of the day, all for that. I miss make up all these lies and this big secret lifestyle. It's like, that can destroy your relationship with your most loved people in your life like you know what i'm saying number 19 prevent objectification people are more than their looks and reproductive abilities it's in our design to be more than that if we were just made to procreate eat poop sit around then i think we'd have a ton of fur on our body and much smaller brains because the prefrontal cortex, it's the problem solver. It's meant to have a lot of social capabilities. It's meant to do a lot. People are a lot more than their bodies. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner you'll be more in touch with people, the happier you'll be. And finally, number 20, quitting PMO, doing NoFap, you're just gonna be way more proud of who you are because you will be dignified. You will be aligned with your inherent value and in, in, in your views of the world. I've struggled with that for so long. And if you feel like that's something you struggle with, you're not proud of who you are right now, you have this problem, you can't seem to quit this habit, really kick it, I wanna offer a helping hand. For the next week, you can receive my free three-part training on how to quit porn for good. These videos are free, there is no catch. At the end of them, I'll also be offering you a chance to get my premium content if that's something you're interested in. I'm just telling you up front right here, right now. So you can check the link in the description to sign up before I take it down as I don't really have the time and resources right now to train a ton of students. So that's everything. 20 reasons to do NoFap in 2020. Go NoFap 2020, hashtag, you know, all that stuff. Happy New Year, man. Let's make it one to remember. And I love you. Thank you for watching. Take care.